light combat aircraft, small, lightweight and multi-role. A supersonic warplane that is the result of largely Indian innovation and development. This is actually a symbol of what India is willing to do in this field. And uh, it was taken up to uh, replace the very large fleet of MiG-21 series what we had. And we took it up almost 15, 18 years ago, this program. So it started off, we had to evolve the technologies in the program and then we had to actually develop the aircraft. And we are very, very proud of it because the aircraft is a unique one. Incorporating some key technologies from the use of carbon composites in the airframe to its advanced avionics, the result is lightweight strength and agility. The whole design concept is an exceptionally high degree of maneuverability, a lightweight a fighter which can carry a phenomenal payload, easy to operate and something what we did ourselves exactly the way our pilots wanted this aircraft to be. No other aircraft before in India has employed carbon composites instead of metal to such a degree. It means apart from making it lighter, the sleek delta wing shape is relatively free from joints and rivets and makes it harder to detect by radar. The basic empty weight of the aircraft is kept low because you are not putting metal in the aircraft. The second thing is that the uh, radar signatures are very, very low. And then it's a technology which is easy to repair. The aircrafts will not corrode, will not rust. Through the LCA project, Indian engineers have found themselves becoming expert in working with the new material. Here in the construction of prototype number three, you can see just the amount of composite material being used. In fact, a full 90% of the surface area. Like master chefs, fashioning each section ready for the oven. And the proof of the pudding, testing every section of the skin before going off for assembly. A supersonic aircraft of such sophistication requires extensive supersonic testing and in the development of the LCA, 7,000 separate visits were needed to the wind tunnel. The wind tunnel is an essential aid in the design and development stage, optimizing the aerodynamics for such a high performance machine. Yeah, what we are trying to do in a wind tunnel is to recreate what happens up there in the air on the ground. There you've got an aircraft moving and the air is around it is still. Here we do the opposite. We have a model which is still, sort of still, and we push air through. So we're looking at what kind of pressure loads it has to withstand. There are lots of questions the designer wants to know. And we're trying to find answers for these questions. Pretty much any indigenous machine that has taken to the skies over India has graduated from this facility, from planes to space rockets. Once your flow starts misbehaving, once there's separation, once there's turbulence, then I'm sorry, the best mathematical equations are still not often good enough. And even if the equations are good enough, I'm not sure the computers are good enough yet. And even if the computers are good enough, I'm not sure they are fast enough as yet. So the wind tunnel is going to stay. All the R&D, all the innovation, all the effort. The result, an awesome machine, almost ready for active service. The LCA has equipped the Indian aerospace industry with indigenous capabilities. Avionics and advanced engineering gained through India's own efforts, overcoming technology transfer barriers. There was so much of skepticism that we may not be able to make it. Today we have done it. Not only done it, we have convinced our own users 
that they would definitely say the flying qualities are better than Mirage. Today I can tell that we have bridged that gap of 30 years of technology and we are contemporary with most of the world if in future when we take up the next generation fighter aircraft, that aircraft will be definitely comparable with any of the future fighter aircraft. Digital fly-by-wire technology to help the pilot operate the machine smoothly and get the most from its performance is essential. All right, so we're in the simulator of one of the world's most sophisticated fighter aircraft. How difficult can it be? The answer is very. A new generation of pilots for a new generation of warplanes. Space research took off in India in 1961 and from a standing start without the military and industrial muscle that supported the space endeavors of the superpowers. Following the launch of the Aryabhata satellite in 1975, India has launched many remote sensing and communication satellites. It is a story that begins here in Tumba, on this remote part of Kerala's coast and at the local church. When the space program began here, this landmark was one of the few permanent buildings in this fishing community. Now a museum, its many exhibits tell the story of India's endeavours in space. From the launch of relatively simple sounding rockets up to the edge of space, to the development of 